life sciences industry is absolutely essential to the UK because the medicines that you and I, our parents, our children rely on are developed, discovered, manufactured and brought to patients by the life sciences industry and so it's absolutely critical that this government continues to support, invest in and provide the right conditions for the industry to thrive in the UK. Well, there's a number of things the government could do. Uh, one of those is to invest more in the NHS. The NHS is really, really struggling uh, on the front line and we see services being cut and we also see much more stringent rationing of drugs for patients. So investment in the NHS uh, would be a key thing that the government could do to, to improve things for both patients and the industry. But also looking at ways to attract through its new industrial strategy more investment in things like manufacturing, the, the medicines of the future, why can't we make them in the UK and bring more manufacturing to the UK? And so providing the right sort of incentives through tax, through grants and things like that would be absolutely brilliant and, and also continuing to support research and development. Uh, with us leaving uh, the European Union, there's a real concern that we're going to use, lose European research funding. We need to make the best of Brexit and make sure that we continue to collaborate with our European partners and invest in R&D. That we keep growing and thriving and that uh, the next massive you know, life transforming, life changing, life saving drug that is de developed and manufactured in the UK and bought by the NHS for British patients as well.